Welcome back to another video, guys. And we're going to look at these Stegosaurus type um, Trinosaurs, you can you can say, unbranded. They could be from um, Imperial, not 100% sure. They all look relatively the same, but there are differences between all four of them. And these guys were pretty common throughout the 80s and 90s. You used to see these guys everywhere. So they are very common to find. And as a kid, I had a lot of fun playing with these. Um, still one of my favorite vintage dinosaur toys, just because of the craziness to them with that massive head, with those teeth, big eyes, the Stegosaurus plates on the back. Yeah, no, really, really love these guys. So the first one we're going to have a look at is this, is this guy. And I'll just give a quick overview of the toy and then um, I'll show the differences because they're pretty much nearly identical. So yeah, you've got the massive head with these teeth. You got the plates, you got claws. These guys are pretty, pretty um, reliable and strong. They, you generally see them in good condition. At the most, usually their paints all worn off or their plates have been cut off. But yeah, you got some thagomyces there, but just three instead of having the four there. So look, you get some nice detailing, you know, scales and just a few basic colours, but I just love the look of this guy. Just, yeah, really, really funky. A lot of character and charm. So this first one is, the only difference that it has compared to others, it says Hong Kong, okay? Just Hong Kong. So obviously this is the, the earlier version and very very solid plastic even though it's hollow the legs are solid the tail is solid but really hard well i can't even call it plastic it's probably like a combination of rubber and plastic so really really solid and this guy is the same hong kong and the only difference between this guy is Everything's the same. The only difference is obviously there's a variation in the in the paint. But whereas this guy has red eyes, this guy has white eyes. And I've never seen this guy with white eyes. So I'm not sure if someone's painted over it, but looking at the kind of quality of how the paint's been applied, they're both pretty messy anyway. Like they're not clean you know like prints on the eyes so so and i can't see any red underneath this one and all the others that i have like in storage all have red eyes so this one's got white eyes so this one's a bit unusual in that aspect then we come to these guys we'll look at this guy first so pretty much the same. Let's have a look at the size. If there's any difference with the size. And the lips, usually you can see a bit of differences in the lips. So pretty much identical. The only difference with this guy is the plastic is slightly softer, slightly. And now we get made in China. So obviously this was a a later release. And finally we come to this one. So a whole different color scheme, which is not as nice as the others. It's just pretty much like three colors: the green, the yellow, and a bit of orange on the eye. Plastic is softer. The molding isn't as clean, so you got these splash marks. Made in China. Tail is really 
15. And also, let's compare it to the original. It's much smaller too. In length. And in width. And I do have a couple of these guys in my collection, in storage, and they're all pretty much kind of the same colors, and the plastic is either a little bit softer or a little bit harder, but definitely they are smaller than these guys. So, yeah, as I stated before, I think Imperial may have made these. I'm not too sure. Obviously, these are earlier variants, having Hong Kong on them, and then later on, either being the same company or somebody else making a knockoff of this. It's it's too hard to tell. Um, these guys, if you look at my previous videos with the Dimetrodon, there's a T-Rex and the uh, Brontosaurus with the teeth. These all came with those guys. Usually you found them all together. But, yeah... But yeah, th these were pretty much common, I know, in North America and Australia, where I'm from, Australia. I'm not sure about Europe. Very common. I do find these a lot in the in the op shops, the thrift stores. And yeah, even on eBay, they're not that expensive. They usually sell for about 20-odd bucks, or some people try to get 30 for them. They are common, but to me... Just the uh, memories and just the the character that these guys have is more appealing to me. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time.